Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can get resurrection in uh, Soul War. So I'm just literally just going to be telling you how you can get resurrection and doing a tiny little showcase of all the resurrections uh, as you can see in the Trello. So obtaining a resurrection, you have to meditate by pressing N. Each time you meditate, you will have to fight your inner self unless you're an under leveled or on a cooldown. In that case, you'll be kicked. Each time you beat your inner self, the next fight will be harder. Once you beat yourself for the final time, you'll unlock a special dialogue indication that you've unlocked resurrection upon obtaining upon upon. Upon obtainment, you can pull out your sword and press B to re release your resurrection. Uh, that's literally how you get it. Tiny, tiny little showcase, vertebra, bone rise, release a bone, hitting anyone in front of you, knocking enemies up, pretty good. Would be good if someone's trying to rush you. Bone release, wave of bones, uh, you can actually aim that, which is kind of cool. And then bone blaster looks like a sarrow, or... Yeah, it's a Sarrow, basically. It's pretty decent. Next is... I'm not going to say the names because I cannot do it. Fragmentation. Remove, release a small wave of energy, detaching people's souls from their bodies. Soul disposal. Releasing energy AOE, bringing anyone back to the... That's actually very good. And then, obviously, another Sarrow, probably. Yeah, another Sarrow. I'm assuming every resurrection is going to share the Sarrow. Heavy shot. Fire beam. Sarrow. Burning palm. Okay, tick damage after you hit them with it, and it's ranged. And then shot barrage, which is like a serral barrage. Okay. Kind of like Starks, like Resurrection. Metal slam, metal plate slam, okay. Uh, metal crash. Oh, I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, and it is a combo extender, which is pretty damn good. And then metal... What? Bro, that's huge. That's like no star. That is... That's going to be annoying to fight. Uh, night Lunge. That was quick. Okay, so it's like a punch. Royal Rush. Four quick explosions. And then doing tech damage at the end. Okay. Holy Spear. is like a Bala, almost. Thunder Kick. Whoa, what the? Oh, wait, no. Electro Fist. All right, so it's an uppercut. And it, bringing, it brings you up in the air instead of the... Okay, kick of the downward teleports you to the ground if you were in the air, which makes it good after to use after an electro fist. Okay, that's actually that makes more sense why it doesn't bring them up with you then. And then sage reflexes instantly instantly cast the counter that lasts for a few seconds, releasing an explosion and stunning anyone who hits you during the frame. That's pretty good. Nitro kick, kick your opponents, releasing big explosion. Uh, it's not that big of an explosion, but it's pretty decent. Core explosion, uh, wind up small AOE, short wind up, that's a very short wind up, and then discharge, uh, similarly like a mouth zero, I guess, um, atomic punch, yep, poison, 10 second, bro, bro, nope, not gonna say anything, poison release, <laughs> cloud of poisonous gas, that looks pretty decent, Poison looks pretty mid, to be honest. By the way, all the resurrections have extreme drip. Inversion punch. Placed. Okay, pu push anyone near. Okay, inversion punch. So I'm assuming, yeah, summon inversion. So you can summon an inversion point and then you can push them, you can pull them away. That's going to be super good because you can pull them towards the uh, inversion point and then push them away instantly after. Which is actually a pretty, a pretty decent combo. Like, you could pull someone in, do a combo, then blast them back, which would be pretty good. And the last one, and I think this is personally my favorite Resurrection. Even though I've not used them, it's just the way it looks. I just really like um, this Resurrection. I like the Soul Link. Uh, dark Energy, linking anyone to your body. Link Removal, after a short up, or wind up. For AoE, okay. So it stuns anyone that... Uh, stuns anyone linked to you and stuns anyone not linked to you, okay. And then Lifeless Slash, release a slash made of dark energy, linking anyone who gets that hit. I'm assuming Link Removal um, hits anyone no matter where they are if they're linked to you, but we would never know. But yeah, that's basically a quick video on how you can unlock Resurrection and all the, a little showcase of all the Resurrections if you want to go for a specific one. Uh, but yeah, personally, my favorite is La Muerte. 
Um, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong. Sorry, if we're saying it wrong. I don't know if I'm saying that right, so sorry if I butchered it. Um, but yeah, that's personally my favorite, but you go for whatever your playstyle shows. Or, I don't know. Do whatever you want. Whatever one that you think looks coolest. But yeah, that's just how you get Resurrection. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. If you want to see how you can get Bankai's, uh vault standings and shinkos as you can see there if you want to see how you get any of them uh just go on my channel and it should be the most recent videos on my channel I can upload like four videos at the same time so uh if you want to see whatever one it is if you're watching this right now go on my channel and check out the other videos make sure to like on them uh but yeah sorry for keeping you to this long and yeah just have a good day or night wherever you are and yeah see you in the next video